start recording. That is true. Hilbert90 and Robert T. both get a gold star. Yes, I said I was going to give you guys a chance to beat me up today. Which, given how I feel, is probably not going to be all that difficult. But let's see, what did I do last time? I think the last time I did a take turns, I started out with a 6 don, or 5 don, so let's go ahead and do something a little bit in the middle. Uh, anyone around, let's say, 10 to... Eh, anyone between 10 and 4Q wish to, uh, go ahead and take a turn? Or do you wish to nominate anyone between 10 and, uh, 4Q? Not too many people to choose from, unfortunately. Fraudwit says he'll go. Hmm. Yes, between 10Q and 4Q. For now, anyway. I'll do higher and lower after this. Well, the problem with Fraudwit is I play him regularly, so I think I would want to go ahead and take someone else, no offense to Fraudwit. Someone who doesn't normally get a chance. Alright, now it looks like it's between Badge and Amy TS. Which one of you really wants to play? I guess Badge will, since he said it first. Let's go ahead and... how do I do this again? Uh, set players. Whoa, shoot. No. That's not what I meant. Oh, that would be fun, yes get two people to play a five-second blitz go to see who gets to play me. I would enjoy that, I think. They wouldn't, but I would. Uh, let's give him black, not white. Alright. So, there you go, badge. You've got black. I will stop you when you make a very large mistake that I think is essentially game-breaking. And we will go over the game at that point. Then I will pick someone else. And while we're playing, let's go ahead and actually look up Badge, because he is a 7Q question mark, was it? Is that what I saw? No, he's solid 7Q, okay. Ah, uh, what to play? Let's just play dual four fours. Plays orthodox against me. All right. Now everyone here knows, and I would expect the seven Q to know, what to do when I split at R ten. So let's give some more variations here. Yes, that is me in my picture. Why, thank you very much. Mm. So far, so good. A lot of people actually tell me that. But they can't actually tell me what they think my voice would fit with this particular picture that I've uploaded. A redhead? Now that is weird. Alright, so he wants to go ahead and build himself up a little framework here. I'm alright with that. Alright, box off. I'll go ahead and make sure that he cannot 
get his extension anymore. You think R15 Jisaki is better for B, R15, R15, R15. Huh? I think you're gonna have to tell me what you mean by that later. Not sure what you mean by R15 Jisaki. All right, do I drop down? Do I have some fun? This game's been rather uneventful. Let's have some fun. You're welcome. Oh, generally my moves aren't unreasonable. I will occasionally, and my students would be able to tell you this, I will occasionally go ahead and play a move in my games that's intentionally bad, because even though I don't like playing with handicap, I will go ahead and handicap myself some at some point during the game to make it even, if that makes any sense. Oh, I see. We tend to have... Oh, alright. I get what you're saying now, Emerus. I see what you're saying. Alright, so he does not want me to make a base on the right-hand side. Well, what if I get your corner? A lot of comments, I'm probably missing a lot of them. Including a Fordon, I wasn't aware that a Fordon was commenting, I'm sorry. I'll have to go back and look at that later. But alright, um... That's cool, I've been called fake too. I don't know what I want to do. Also true... Now let's go ahead and take a look at Alcoholize's games on camera. Looks like he's winning all of them. So those who think that he is truly a fake Fordon, I do not think you should be fooled. Right, right, right. That's what they all say. Oh, true. Good point, Mike. He could be a fake Fordon in that he could be stronger than Fordon. Alright, I think I'm done responding locally here. Now, I'll respond locally one last time, I think.
Yes, but I can't discontinue my Sim Seri my Sim City series. I mean, that's what unlocked my account to allow me to actually upload videos longer than uh, 15 minutes. So I can't just stop it. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and approach. Um, because YouTube accounts have a limit placed on them initially to make sure that you're not uploading things like TV shows and movies, things like that, because you could theoretically upload it somewhere and then hide it and just keep the link private, and essentially no one would ever know. But if you have a nice history of not violating copyright, then they go ahead and unlock your account so you can upload longer than 15 minutes. And those are the videos that uh, allowed me to unlock it, because I had uploaded a lot of videos that didn't violate copyright. Oh, I intend to. I uploaded one last night. I don't know if you noticed uh, another one of my games on Tygem. Let's see, how do I want to end this game? Think, 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 think. I think I'll end it this way. Well, I'm probably not going to have time to actually go off and fully kill something, though I can threaten. Uh, I can certainly threaten to kill something. I never play dirty. I never play bully go either, thank you. At least I try not to play bully go. Uh, Bully Go is something coined by a very nice teacher that hangs out in the KGS teaching ladder named Dasan. It's essentially where... hmm... how to word this? Yeah, I was gonna go with Dishonest Go, but... I don't think he plays it for dishonest reasons. I think he's just trying out things that might potentially not work simply because he'll tell you that um, he's not very good at reading, so he will go out and try things. Sometimes they should work, sometimes they really shouldn't, but he'll get away with it because he's playing, uh, you know, weaker players. I mean, he's not doing it to be mean or anything. I didn't mean to click that. Oh, well. He's not uh, doing it to be mean or anything, but... <laughs> Have you been studying trick moves, Robert? Uh, looks like we have another fan of Bully Go here then. I have absolutely no idea what those are. I 
I don't know how that's going to help you win online games if you're throwing sand in their eyes. Spam them with pop-ups. Sounds like someone watched uh, last night's Tygem game. Alright, I think I'm going to review this soon. And one more move, I guess. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and review for a moment here. Thank you for playing Badge. A few problems with this game. Uh, one, you're in trouble but your cut actually works. However, a few problems are that these uh, groups are essentially only just living. So you essentially have three groups just trying to uh, make eyes. Well, maybe not three so much. But you've got a lot of groups not making very much territory. Your only territory is coming from the bottom of the board. That's a little bit of a problem. Top still open, so I guess maybe you can get in there a little bit. But now that I'm alive, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, attack this, force it into life, essentially, to make sure I can go ahead and develop. So that's a little bit of a problem. Oh, yeah, it still worked. Um, all right, so a lot of people said that they're uncomfortable with R14. I did not expect that, honestly. R14 is uh, quite normal. I guess a little bit more normal for you guys might be the split at R the split at R10, but most people know this Joseki by now, and you can probably play it blindfolded. That there's not uh, very many variations here. Either we're going to go ahead and live in the corner and have Aji here later as white that is, or you're technically possible maybe I don't know go ahead kill off R12, but that's a little bit slow. Because this stone still has a lot of Aji, you're still undercut. Not very good result. Unless you really, really desperately can't be cut there for some larger purpose. Uh, then there's also a few more modern ideas to approach this, such as playing a probe against a 4-4, seeing if your opponent backs off. If so, you can go ahead and respond to R10 and create a very large framework on top of the board. This is also very nice, especially when you consider that, go away, this can be kept low later on to expand your framework. So in light of that, we've been seeing a lot more approaches against the 4-4 because there's just so many different variations that you can play here. Black can back off, black can pincer at multiple locations. And each of these responses have still more uh, options available to both players. And it's one thing that I like to do in my games anyways. I try to keep my options open. So we played here. You went ahead and approached. That's fine. If you wanted a framework, I would just go ahead and take uh, my optimal extension. This allows me to not play the shoulder hit later. I've got to come up with something a little bit different. If I play something else, then you get to go ahead and potentially take a uh, double wing for yourself. That'd be fairly nice. At the very least, I'd probably back off high. Again, for the same reason. You're probably not going to get it. I'm probably going to take it away from you immediately. But ideally, you would want to move it A here, because this is where you want your, extent, your expansion, rather than on the bottom of the board. That's a little bit too passive. 
I would go ahead and make sure that I can't drop down. Make sure I can't connect. Poke at my shape and then play elsewhere. Later on you can go ahead and come under for a little bit more territory. For now I wouldn't because it's a uh, gote. For now I'd probably play a move around, I don't know, you, not your turn, there we are. I'd probably play a move maybe around A, make sure that white's not going to be able to get a large area on the left. Because one thing that would really be unfortunate is, let's say, I don't know, we played something and then white forced us to defend and then decided to take, to use the influence to try to make a framework on the left. That would be kind of annoying because white stones are working together. A lot of territory for you, but the stones are working together. Here I would defend, simply because the corner... Well... I guess it's worth a few points to you, but more importantly, I'm still not alive yet. Even if I drop down right now, you can pincer both, and I'm still not alive. But if you let me into that corner, then I am going to live. Very, very easily, in fact. Instead, you jumped away. I would, at the very least, make sure that I can't get out. I mean, you put me in your corner. I'd make sure that I'm going to stay there and I can't uh, go anywhere. Or... no. No or. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that too, yeah. You could go ahead and offer this up in exchange. Only problem is that's going to be Gote, I think. So I'm going to be able to go back and help my stone. R7 seems like you want the outside. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of too. That's why I was going to suggest uh, simply pushing here. Since he's interested in the outside, I'd go ahead and develop it. I'm probably going to live in Gote, I guess. And then you can take a large point. Maybe something like this for development. This is fun, because I'm not alive yet. And you've got this later on as well. And here's where I'm taunting you. I mentioned that I tend to put myself behind enemy lines, and that's what I'm doing here, because I do seem to have fallen behind that really irritating line right now. And we know that if I'm not careful, I can't live as is, so my corner's in trouble. Now, what does all of this mean? It means... Da, 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 da. Where'd I start? Yeah, here. Okay. It means that since you have sente moves here, let's say, though I'd probably use the uh, small knight, and since you still have sente moves uh, to get out, because I have to live at that point, you can really put me behind enemy lines and then attack me. Now, are you going to kill me? Who knows? But you're going to get a ton of influence from this attack. Instead, you kind of jumped out. I left my stones behind enemy lines. Finally, you start attacking which is nice, but you're just trying to live. We find out that this isn't really an attack. It looks like this is just black trying to live locally, which I think is a mistake. You should be trying to see if I can live there at all. Because I don't think the answer is yes. I think the answer is I have to get out of here now or I'm in trouble. So this would make it really, really difficult for me. Probing my shape and then giving me sente just allows me to go ahead and get out of there. And again, same thing. You can threaten to put me behind enemy lines. If I don't respond, that's going to be nice large for you. Your jump out again threatens to go back and kill my group because I don't have life there yet. This is still available to go ahead and kill my corner, or make sure that I can't live locally anyway. So, white has a lot of problems here because I've kept myself behind enemy lines. 
These are the kinds of things that you definitely want to look for in your games. They look small, but your opponent being able to do nothing but just run away is very, very large. If your opponent's running away, he's not getting more territory, he's not attacking you, well, hopefully anyway. All those good things. But essentially, I got out, it looks like both my groups are alive, so I stopped you here. Uh, white can Q7 before capturing right. White can Q7, Q7, Q7. What is Q7? Uh, probably back, I assume. White can there. Do do. Ah, uh, yeah, I can. I'll lose... Or I'll gain some, I guess. Only problem is I'm not sure if I'd really want to play this way. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, the cut's there, but... My uh, stone's there in the center. No real graceful way to help them, I guess. But alright, thank you for playing Badge, if you are still around. Uh, now, what do you guys say? Should I go up or down? Stronger or weaker in terms of opponents? What do you guys want to see? Alright, looks like we have... Alright, it looks like we're all over the place. We've got some stronger players saying giving weaker players a shot. We've got some weaker players saying give a stronger person a shot. It kind of sounds like you're saying play anyone but me. But, alright. What do we have here? I guess I will simply ask, does anyone wish to play? And I'll go from there. So who wants to play? Alright, W... I'm not going to pronounce your name. Sorry, I butcher it. I'll just call you Mr. W wants to play. Anyone else? Alright, so we do have a stronger opponent and we do have a weaker opponent who wants to play. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get my trusty coin out here. Heads, I'll play stronger. Tails, I'll play weaker. You'll take my word for it. Oh, brilliant. Heads, I play stronger. Well, I'm not turning on a webcam, so you'll have to. Uh, set players. So you said you, that you did want to play there? Mr. W? Alright, Butasai versus Mr. No, not Mr. W, moron. That's not his actual name. What is his name? There you are. Sorry, I'm bad with Chinese. I'm not going to try to pronounce your name. And I can't spell your name either. There we are. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. Uh, take control, back to beginning, and reset players. Brilliant. All right. That didn't work out at all, did it? There we go. All right, Mr. W, you've got black. Who's sandbagging? All right, let's see. Do I want to play 4-4, four, 3-4? Four, four? Let's open up the same way. Uh-oh. Am I playing a sandbagger? That is an impressive rank graph. It's going straight up. Oh dear. That is a lot of wins. Alright, let's go ahead and play 3-4. I haven't played 3-4 yet. Ah, and oh my, seriously. I don't know if you pay attention to a lot of my lectures, but I hate the San Rense with a passion. It figures that someone would do that. But alright, let's go ahead and do this.
Really? Hmm. Well, we're just playing Jaseki right now. Chances are he's played this 500 million times, so... Alright, how do I want to continue this? If I go ahead and enclose... He's going to expand if I approach again. <laughs> Chinese? Off of this position? I don't know. That kind of sounds fun, actually. I think I'll do that. I will take advice from the 10Q. Do I? No, I don't. But if I did not say anything while I was playing, then you guys would probably be a little bit bored. C11 is a 10k move. Indeed it is. Alright, so I've got Chinese, but I can't really expand very well. So what am I going to do with this Chinese? Um, I could play a large line on the bottom of the board, I guess. I could abandon it and invade the right. I try to please the crowd, and the crowd said, play Chinese, Robert, so I played Chinese. I'm going to go ahead and invade, I think. Technically, that's correct. But you should never let something not making sense stand in the way of doing something fun. Mm, okay, so he's not going to approach directly. Instead, he's going to go ahead and let me enclose. I will go ahead and do that. He really wants me to enclose. Hmm. I don't think I'm interested in that. This is where things get fun. I'm going to ignore him for now. Wow, he really is trying to demoralize me. Not only does he play San Rense, but he finds an excuse to play Tengen. Oh, Mr. W, Mr. W, Mr. W. Now I think I'm being trolled. this. can go there, he'll go there, I'm fine there, but what do I follow up with? Hmm. Well, this seems like the easiest. Mm. 
No, I'm not going to go into serious mode. He really wants that top for himself, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't think so, but that's really nice of you to say. He does want everything. He reminds me of how I used to play. It's scary. I used to be heavily... heavily influenced. Well, that's a very bad pun. I'm not going to finish that sentence. Um, my Go playing used to revolve heavily around influence, let's say. And now I'm mostly territorial. Well, I say that I'm mostly territorial. My students would completely disagree with that, though. Guess I'll defend. You're allowed to be young. I don't think white's won yet, but I think it's a little bit of a difficult game for black, but we'll see. I'll respond with attachment, I suppose. Hmm. Alright. So he's got a very, very large top. Only trouble with that. Doot, 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 doot. Actually, you hear doots, technically. Um, well, there's a lot of moves hanging around that I really want to play. Um. I can go there, but he'll ignore that. He won't respond to that. He'll go there instead. Let's see if that's true. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I don't think I want to continue that. So you've told us, Mr. W, so you've told us. Quite all right. Mm. 
Did he? Leave Mr. W alone, especially if he's eight years old. Don't pick on him. So we are going to make the exchange. I'd be smiley if I was 8D too. Really want to get 8 done on Tygen. Never broke 7 yet though. And even that I can't always hold. That's a fairly good question, actually. I don't know. I started my uh, Three Dawn series over again because Tygen put out an English client. So, who knows? That was a mistake. Doot, 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 doot. Yeah, now it's good again. I'll have to go over that. Well, if he did it the other way, it would have been more uncomfortable, I suppose, but I could just let that go if I had to, to preserve the inside. But I think this is probably going to be about the end, depending on how uh, this group handles itself. You gotta go. That's the best way, Robert. Well, I'm not sure if he'll be dead. I think he'll escape. But all too often the question is what's going to be the price of it escaping? Yeah, um, with your permission, I think I'll go ahead and uh, stop and review the game here, Mr. W. If that's okay with you. Not okay with you. Okay. <laughs> Permission denied. Alright, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I don't know. Double honey looks fun. I extend, he extends, we all extend together. Oh, double honey. Double honey is okay. Yeah, you're doing fairly well, Mr. W.
Hmm. I think let's go take my profit. Um, I go here, you go there, you go there, there, there. Blargy blarg. Do, 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 do. That's fine. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop you here, Mr. W. Thank you very much for playing. Alright, so Black played San Rinsei, which is perfectly acceptable. We blitz through this Jisaki. Usually, I... oh, it's fine. Essentially, you might wonder what the purpose of this Jiseki is. For white, all white wants to do, even though it looks like maybe black's getting a little bit more influence, is really just this cut point. What this cut point then moves like A and B suddenly become invasion points. They threaten to link up underneath uh, via Co. If you guys can see that. Let's say, I don't know cap to keep in or something, then you have to read out this variation. Code to connect. Uh, Chinese didn't make a lot of sense, I will admit that. This I was also a little bit surprised at. I really expected uh, this group to be harassed for a lot longer than it was because if I'm not quite settled here and let's say I have to run then that's just free territory for black that I could have responded to but now if he goes back and plays uh, a variation like that not only is he getting free territory, he's already got the stones in place to already go ahead and use that uh, newfound influence he's getting. So I felt, although I wanted the fourth line territory, I couldn't actually respond to him, otherwise I have an unfavorable position. So I went ahead and got this immediately to see what he was going to do, to see if he'd still go off and get uh, the influence that he's looking for. He played Tengen, which I felt was a little bit too far. Tengen's a little bit overrated because it's still open from this side, it's still open from this side, we still open from the bottom. So I don't really see this as being uh, very threatening against my group, and I don't really see it as trying to claim very much territory. So I capped, because right now I'm looking at a potential move at A. He defends, so I'm not going to be able to play that, but then he allows me to go ahead and uh, cut through an Atari. That, I think, is a little bit too... a little bit too aggressive.
I would just go ahead and back off. Keep the territory. The fourth and odds of uh, fifth line. You rarely fight. That's a very unusual to hear. Usually people who play uh, influence then are kind of expecting fights because you know that your opponent's going to keep reducing and keep reducing. And naturally those are going to, you know, provoke fighting. Such as we're seeing here. I mean, you have a large area and I'm going to fight you to try to reduce it. This, um, unfortunately didn't work. I went ahead and got my territory in Gote. So now the question is, what does white do, or what does black do, rather? Um, you play a large move. That's certainly nice. I consider heavily playing here first, just to get rid of, or limit, one of your undercuts. Nice little sente move. I would also consider expanding for future territory. I'm not going to want to ignore my... Uh... Well, yeah, I can still go ahead here, for example, and go directly under his stone fairly easily. He's still undercut. Or I could, for example, go back to that. Uh, you? No, you. Yes. Or I can go ahead and attach and see how much Aji I really have here. A little bit vulgar, but yeah. Simply because I can still connect up, I might be able to play it. But yeah, before this move, I'd go ahead and get this large one out of the way to make sure that you're not going to lose it. I'm going to respond to keep my territory. At that point, you can dis you can do whatever uh, you feel best suits your strategy, either going ahead and still going for that risky play of getting that influence, or... I don't know, I'd consider invading. Though at this point, I'm thinking about invading on the other side, since it's less... Uh, Less open, or more open, sorry. It's not as pincered there. This I expected to throw in. A few forcing moves to make sure I can't really do much but protect. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, because that's just Gote. At this point, I can go ahead and bend here, or Atari here, to get some more territory. I can go ahead and make sure that you can't uh, extend an also threatened E, or not E, M3 at the same time. There's just too many large points on the board for white at the moment, while uh, you're here kind of defending this area that's turning out to not be as large as you might thought it might have thought it was originally. Fraud with curious, how should B follow up if white doesn't respond to E11? If white doesn't respond to E11. You. Alright, so don't respond to that. Okay. Um, got a couple of options here. I mean, one, you can probably actually get away with an invasion since so many stones in the area, but typically you would play uh, something similar. You'd go ahead and attach. I have to be careful how I respond at that point. Because if I play the Hane like this, for example, well, maybe that's just going to invite my opponent to keep me in the second line. That's not a place I want to be. Very much so. This was a good choice. Mm, bit aggressive. I would have played one uh, farther out for safety's sake. A 
Instead, I get to run you straight out. And here, with a little bit of a problem, because I still have to worry about this. The fact that uh, if you played, uh, da -da 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 -da, you da -da -da, go up. Thank you very much. If you play this, I can't, for example, just go ahead and. Atari this. Otherwise, I might run, uh, you know, a little short on liberties. I'd probably have to play here, I guess. Then enclose you. White just d5. Yeah. And at this point, I felt the game was probably over, because you have two weak groups to look after, and you only have a chance to look after one of them. So I almost forgot that by playing in the middle. At that point, white just has too much territory, I think. Uh, any question about this particular game? Uh, does anyone have questions about the game? Alrighty then. Good to know. Uh, in that case, sorry we only got to play two people. Uh, my fault completely for taking forever. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know what I'll do next time. Maybe I'll do this style again. Maybe I'll have another pro game to go over. But I hope to see you then. Glad you enjoyed them. I'll see you next time.